Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2. Here today on the channel, we're back with our Brutii Roman campaign. This is episode 3. We're back on the Rome 1 mod for Rome 2. In today's episode, we're going to be war decking the Egyptians. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Leave me down in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series. So, we currently have three full stacks in Asia Minor, where we have two and a third on the way down in North Africa. Egypt has expanded incredibly well into Gamantia and also well, Asia, Asia Minor. I'm kind of surprised that they actually have Ankara under their control. Parthia's expanded as well, but this is what we currently occupy. The Armenians actually knocked out Macedon, which is interesting, interesting and Pontus has fled back to uh, the Crimea. The Julii Romans have been pushed back once again, and the Scipii are incredibly struggling to hold on to Iberia. But we're going to be going to war against Egypt. Now, they should have some Bronze Age units, which is going to be hilarious. That was always a bit of a meme in <laughs> Rome 1. They weren't similar to the Hellenic reforms units back in Greece. So... I think what's going on with the Julii here is, look at this man, they're just getting smacked by so many barbarians. They've just sort of been ganged up on, I think. Spain, Germany, the Gauls, the Dacians, they're really at war with them. Looking at our provinces here, our public forum building mostly sells slaves at the moment, but here's our family tree. Servus and Decimus are our adopted children. Uh, one thing I'd recommend probably for the motto is to have bigger family trees to start off with. Because we've been quite unlucky with the RNG this time around. As Lucius Brutus doesn't have any biological uh, children, which is a shame. But no matter. Okay, so Egypt's at war with Pont... Uh, Egypt's at war with Namidia. And Namidia are my defensive allies, because I don't particularly want to push over to Mauritania, West, North Africa. So, we'll join your war against that, which... Can we get military? No. I thought we might get enough favour with them to push up. So we've got Le uh, Legion 1 here. Ready to push into Asia Minor. We're mostly operating with gold, chevron, legionary cohorts now. But yes, yeah, Apathy has actually pushed here quite well. I guess the Seleucids got smacked uh, by the Egyptians. A couple of fact major factions took out others. For example, the Greek city-states knocked out Carthage, which is hilarious. It was really nothing to do with us. We sort of picked up <laughs> the remnants. So we'll send Legion 2 to Ankara. So far... The garrisons haven't been worth playing or strong at all. Now, where are Egypt's armies? That's what, that's what I'm worried about. So we'll push you further south to take the territory of Iconium. We've got Greece, we've got North Africa, and Magna Graecia under our control. I've sent my spy down to Alexandria, where there's a small army. And Iconium, Maz, they've got, and a couple of others. Oh, they've got some ports nearby as well. But so far, everything's coming up for the Brutii. Now, moving around the territory in North Africa here, in Gamantia, we have to follow the roads or otherwise we get tremendously bad attrition. Uh, Marcus here has a army on the way, mostly cavalry. Uh, so they've got Serenica as well, there's an army. Uh, looks like a pharaoh there. Looks like Cleopatra, actually. Pretty early for this time period, though. Rampant piracy. Now, for this event, I personally always go before uh, go to hunted. Oh, Dacia. Oh, that's annoying. They are at war with all my brothers, but uh, they're gonna swarm over the Danube as well. I'm gonna have to send some armies. It's just as I decided to go to war with the Egyptians. God damn it, man. Well, I guess. Legion 2 has to go back. One criticism I do have for this mod is there's no force march, which is annoying. Right. So they've still got a lot of territory east and westward. I think we should push 
Oh, hang on. Yeah, so an army's pushed up there. They've managed to take Dim Edi. That's actually their faction leader as well. Oh, they're actually quite heavily pushing against the Numidians. So we've taken Iconium now and Mazaka. We'll send them further south. And it looks like there's a bit of a Parthian block here to get the next Egyptian settlement towards Asia Minor. We're going to have to push to Cyprus. Legion 3, Macedonia can head up north just in case any barbarians cross the Danube. Parthia has now declared war upon us. Great. Man, we've been quite unlucky for this episode. This first five minutes has been an absolute shocker. Just incredibly unlucky. Okay, so this is who we're currently at war with. My god, the Roman Empire is surrounded. Fortunately enough for me, Egypt hasn't had any full stacks defending their lands in Asia Minor. It's like they were focusing on the Numidians. But now we're at war with the Parthians, so we might be able to take Antioch and all of Asia Minor, if we're lucky. Legion 5, Serenica can essentially push that way. Yeah, I guess we just push for here. Continue to follow the desert road. Right, and ugh, you're getting really exhausted there. I thought you might be enough. What's the odds on this? Okay. 75. We're going to have to play this one. So this army is incredibly depleted. Luckily for me, we can draw the army out. Let's chuck a quick save and a hard save, and we'll fight this one. Alright, let's have our first battle against the Egyptians. Nile Spearmen, Numidian Spearmen. I wonder if they'll look like Bronze Age soldiers. That'd be quite cool if they do. So here come their reinforcements. Okay. So we're attacking the first army. Which is just a general, so we'll send the cavalry up. We'll reform here, because... The secondary garrison army is the beefiest. Marcus doesn't even have that much health in his general unit. Pushing into the desert is really costly on him. So we'll send the Roman cavalry into the Egyptian generals, which is good to see Ah, Hellenic, but no, these guys look kind of bronze agey, don't they? <laughs> A little bit. Nile spearmen look cool. And then we've got some Numidian spears as well. We are outnumbered a lot in this one. But, if we can take as much... Like, I have no ill will against the Numidians, but if their territory is going to get taken by the Egyptians, I'm more than happy to claim it for myself. This could have been so much better to wrap around those companion cavalry with our Roman cavalry. But the war with the Egyptians has kicked off. Most of their armies seem to be either back in Egypt or are so far into Numidian territory. We haven't caught a full stack. But our first battle against the war against Egypt. The battle for the conquest of the pyramids in the Nile begins today. I'll keep Marcus further back because one volley is going to knock out that entire unit. Reforming the line and holding. Their enemy general is dead. So we can move these guys now. The thing is with hoplites, we're going to have to watch out for because our Roman cavalry here are uh, very, very low. So we're going to have to be extremely careful. We'll send out a unit of mercenary peltasts to try and target some of these Nile spearmen. But they've broken up into three blobs. Okay, they've drawn their swords there, pull those pill tests back. The fiery pill tests hitting the hot sand. 
Try and pull them closer towards my Hastati, I think. They're just sitting in a phalanx formation. Nightmarish to charge something like that. Pull you further back here to secure. So here's our, our early legionary cohort as well. These guys don't have the unique cards, but that's alright. Right. Can we somehow wrap around them? Make things slightly better. We just need to find an opportunity for our cavalry to get in. Looks like fighting's now underway. Right, so... We're slowly but surely allowing them to engage us and wrap around. Yeah, just allowing them to hit like that is so not what we want. We need to lock, flank, lock, flank, and that's what we've been doing. There we go, that's a perfect example. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe trying to strike Marcus. They're now breaking, which is good. Lock and flank. Don't allow the Roman infantry to fight too long against the frontline phalanx. More or less, don't charge at it as well. Lock, and then we can swing some cavalry around the back. Throw your peeler where you can, but the cavalry would be more... Of the incisive charge, there we go. Only a couple more left here now. Before we take the entire province... ...of Gamantia for the Romans. Yeah, God knows what these Nile Spearmen are doing further back here. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> they tried to track something and then they got stuck in the stand the sand dunes. Let's speed things slightly up here. Alright, turn. Good volley. Romans to a man. Quickly now, help out. About your boys. You nearly might be better off to charge. So, so far, oh, in the rear as well, that's perfect. This is a bit of a taste and a bit of a tease of the wars against Rome and Egypt has to come. They're quite a large faction, so conquering them is going to be easier said than done. Those Nile Spearmen are the ones we really have to watch out for because they're the ones that are more armoured. We'll try and run down as many of them as we can. We want to completely destroy and wipe out the garrison so we can just walk into the city with impunity. Romans are finishing off the last of the Egyptians here on the sand dunes. Big smack with the shield. Semi-decent parlay as well. This guy's holding his own massively. Why? Why? <laughs> Fought to the bitter end, that brave Egyptian. You gotta give it to him. While the Romans run down the rest of them in the dunes. Roman cavalry having a field day. Well, that's it. The decisive victory for the Brutii eye once again. Let's end that one there. So Marcus deploy 1.7k. Lost only 172. Demo Edes deployed 2.2k, lost 1.8. Looking at the casualties sustained and inflicted. Our infantry did most of the work. 203, 1 for 8. Cavalry did really well. Flanking and running down the remaining stragglers that got caught. But, Gar Armour. The Gamantian territory is now under our control, which is always an absolute pain to conquer, even in vanilla.
DEI, it's like a nightmare. You might as well not even take it. Alright, so we re-lost that again, which is annoying. After moving away slightly. Yeah, so they're just sort of holding up here. They haven't moved that army out of Serenica. We'll move Marcus here, because we want an offensive down at the pyramids. So 20 there. Now we're at war with the Parthians. We can make some plays. Now, yeah, still the garrisons, man. Like, come on. The garrison of Antioch should be way stronger than that. But even saying that, we are facing Eastern Spearmen, which are t -t 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 trash. Right, let's replenish and repair what we can. There's actually a, an Egyptian army there, which I'm surprised about. Although the Parthians war decked me, that hasn't been too much of an offensive. Same with the Dacians. They have moved a ter an army into Ida, into my territory, but they haven't pushed them to shit. My god, the Julii are nearly going to be defeated. It's like they've been double... Double smacked, because they've lost Aretium and Arinium. Yeah, maybe the Senate has to go north and deal with them. Well, we'll make an aggressive attack here in Mulvia. We actually can strike their capital. We might be able to beat them into submission for a peace. So we pushed over the Danube aggressively. We've sacked their capital. And I'll give it back to you if we can get peace. But it looks like they're probably going to raid Illyria with impunity and there's not much we really can do. Trade degree agreement to Skull. Oh no! That's it. She's all over Red Rover. The House of Brutii have been destroyed. Guys, let me know if you've got to this point in the campaign of your playthrough. Uh, what are we, 50, 60 turns in? Does the Julii get defeated so much? Maybe it's more my fault, because I, like I, I feel like I got attacked by those barbarians, but never actually fought them. So... We'll push the legion here. Oh, okay. We might have to play that one later on. So we'll siege that. Oh, okay. That's like 70% in their favor. Crikey. Right, we're nearly making our way to Memphis and Alexandria. I still can't believe that the Julii are no more. They started off so well in this series. They took, like, more provinces than me. But I think they just overextended. Like, I have a feeling if you go back, I'm, I swear, like, Gaul... And Spain declared war upon me. Not necessarily Germanium. We called them in. Maybe that was it. Yeah, they definitely just got ganged up on. Gaul, Germania, and Spain hit them in one fell swoop. We'll finish this outside army here near Antioch, though. Yeah, but the Parthians haven't brought much of their territory from the Far East as well. The Dacians probably don't want peace, though, either. Uh, what about here? Ugh, we lose half our army. It's going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Is it even worth trying to take this? They might attack us, which will give us better odds. Right, so the Egyptians pushed further to the coast there after we withdrew. So even though we're sort of farming territory from the Numidians, I don't mind. So we'll probably fight that one against the Egyptians in the next. A little bit of rebellions and slaves and stuff where we can. And we should be able to retrain furthermore as well. Oh, hang on. They've pushed out of Serenica now. Legion 5 is pushing over there. Well, we'll make a play for the city of Alexandria and the, period, the pyramids as well. And we'll try and gobble up the rest of this Parthian territory here. Right. Well, I think it's time to end today's video. Stay tuned for episode 4 coming out soon. And I'll play the outro.
Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use credit code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.